Mr. McDaniel <clears throat> then in turn pointed the weapon at that son and unfortunately the other son had to shoot shoot him to protect himself and the others that were there. Investigators say a man was forced to shoot and kill his elderly father. We first told you about this shooting this morning on WIAT.com. Now we know the investigators are calling it self-defense. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed was at the scene on Hargrove Road. He joins us now from Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office with reaction. Tim. Jim, I spoke with several neighbors this morning who are calling this a terrible tragedy. It's very sad, very sad. I feel sorry for them. My heart goes out to them. Teresa Birchfield lives down the road from where a man shot and killed his own father. I saw everybody out here, the police, the sheriff's department. Early Monday morning, 82-year-old Archie McDaniel confronted his 40-year-old son. It happened at McDaniel's house on Hargrove Road East. Metro homicide officers tell CBS 42 words were exchanged and the 82-year-old pulled a gun. When the son got out of his vehicle, Mr. McDaniel confronted him with a handgun, threatened to kill him, and actually did fire a shot that grazed uh, one of his sons. Investigators say even after being hit by the bullet, the son begged his father to drop the gun. At that point, the 82-year-old's other son showed up, and he threatened to kill him too. That's when the other son pulled the trigger, killing his father in self-defense. It's my understanding that um, there have been some issues with his health. Perhaps that came into play with his judgment. No, I can't imagine having to do that to a parent. I don't know if I could do it to a parent, but he had no choice, so that's the main thing. He's got a lot to deal with for the rest of his life. Now, police say the shooting was justified, although no criminal charges were filed. The case is being presented to a grand jury. Reporting live tonight in Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.